Hey, what's up? This is Chosen. Happy Monday and start of the week to you. This is going to be a raid Shadow Legends video, getting the week kicked off, going over everything happening in game and in the community. And also for you Americans out there, happy Memorial Day. Hopefully you get some free time or have the day off to kick back and relax a little bit here to start the week. So right now we're going to go over the news and everything happening in raid as we head into Monday. Let's get into it. Alrighty, so first of all, as far as news is concerned, there is an update here with the Anniversary Banner Lord Tournament. It's going to be an opportunity to earn whichever avatar you would like to prioritize. Now, a few days ago, they did a voting process with all of the different Banner Lord Knights to choose from. There was like different pairs where you would pick which one you preferred in each pair. And it looks like only two are left stand, uh, standing after the voting process, and that is Septimus and Baron. Which isn't super surprising septimus and baron are two of the more popular ones septimus that great enemy max hp nuker that has fallen off a little bit recently because of the changes to some of the later dungeons but he is a, just an amazing dps or in any of those like early to mid game dungeons and especially in like the last stage of the minotaur and stuff like that and then also with baron he was a big buffed up one recently where he got a balance change and went from kind of like trash to your to being a top tier nuker so no surprising that septimus and baron kind of shined through and polarium posted on their discord server about some of the instructions that are going to be happening basically you're going to have an opportunity to earn an avatar for the one that you prioritize there's going to be like paths to choose from it says this anniversary path event will task you with completing an event objective to earn anniversary coins and then you'll use those to explore branching reward paths to unlock rewards so We've seen these path events in game before. It's not going to be anything new to you. You're going to kind of choose which one you want to prioritize, and there'll be like a reward for an avatar for Septimus or Baron. Now, I think this would have been a lot more hype if they had custom skins would have been hard because they would have had to do skins for every single one to have it ready to go quickly. But they could have definitely done like a blessing. You should be able to get like a five-star blessing for either one uh, going down the reward path like they did for Rosalvarg. That event ended up being decently hype because of the five star blessing available so i think that would have been a little bit better to have like the avatar and a blessing and then i know i'd be a lot more excited to dive into this path event but basically the way it's going to work we're not going to able to see it in game yet i'll show you kind of the tournaments and events going on but we're not able to see actually how it's structured in game uh, as of tomorrow i'll get a more dedicated breakdown of the actual structure of it and some of the requirements and everything that goes into it but it says get artifacts and accessories which means campaign grinding dungeon grinding kind of like your normal grinding within raid anything that drops an artifact is going to give you progress in this banner lord anniversary event and then when the event ends it says at the bottom that any unused anniversary coins will be automatically converted into silver so yeah we'll see that tomorrow and i'll get you the dedicated breakdown of that event and then also i did warn you a few days ago to keep in mind this may be coming down the line but we've got a small patch that includes several minor technical fixes and one fix that will make the new legendary champion artax passive work exactly how it's described in game and we were talking about how he was scaling a little bit crazy and out of proportion based on the speed and resistance scaling with the destroyed hp and because these bonus parameters from burning blood can reach above 100 which was not intended so we were doing some pretty insane things with artax so what i told you a few days ago was if you're specially tuning certain like spider teams or something with artax just be careful because this may get adjusted pretty soon and plarium ended up doing that right at the start of the week and then they kind of describe how after this patch the passive will work as written in the skills description increasing the champions speed and resistance by two for each one percent of the destroyed max hp but the passive stacks up to 50 percent of destroyed max hp therefore it's going to max at plus 100 and you're not able to get like a 600 speed r attack just popping off completely ridiculously in game so it is going to impact him he's still going to be a solid champion though and our grades on like the tier list and all of that should still be pretty much relevant to what they were because we kind of knew this was going to get adjusted at some point so we weren't basing our grades on that this not ever getting fixed and then some definitely noteworthy news of some events happening in game starting tomorrow on may 30th there's going to be a times three drop event for the dragon's lair now this is significant because the dragon's lair drops the speed set which is one of the most universally used sets for building all sorts of different champions 
and if you're curious how this works you've got the normal 11 percent chance of getting a speed drop in the dragon's lair and then if it's a 2x event your odds are 20 percent and then on a 3x event it is 27 percent and the reason the numbers end up like this is because the outcomes of a speed set normally is one over nine for a 2x it's two over 10 and then for a 3x is three over 11. so more than one fourth more than a quarter of your runs on the dragon are going to yield a speed set during the 3x event that's going to be going on early this week but then also on a wednesday going to get another really good one because there's going to be a 3x 27 percent drop rate in the fire knights castle for savage they're all the same they all have nine sets so if it's 3x speed for 27 percent, it'll also be 27 percent for the savage 3x and then on thursday june 1st they're going to be doing a 3x event for banner lord accessories so uh if you've got a new banner lord legendary or something that you're missing an amulet or a banner on or something then you are definitely going to want to take advantage on june 1st for grinding some spider because that will be a way increased chance of the banner lord accessories and then in just a few days a couple days just over two and a half days we're going to be getting episode three which will be centering around another starting champion in kale and he is the most popular starting champion so we're going to get into some of that dark elf lore around the most popular starting champion in just a couple days now as far as the portal is concerned and some of the shard summoning events and all that we haven't really heard about a guaranteed or a 10x or anything special happening yet this week now if plarium goes by their normal rotation then this weekend will probably be 2x sacreds launching from like friday to sunday but not 100 guaranteed that's like a 95 percent chance this weekend will be 2x sacreds but they could also try to squeeze in something in the middle of the week here we'll have to wait and see i didn't hear from them this morning about that but honestly maybe not because we did just get a guaranteed event around ancient shards which was the first one in six months and there is no cvc this week so your next clan versus clan will be in eight days on next tuesday for the events happening in game right now you've got an ice golem tournament and then a classic arena takedown and in the ice golem tournament the noteworthy thing is that it is going to be 1525 to scoop up 500 coins and if you're looking for like an ancient shard or some relentless gear then typically these are the more easier ones to get in and win and finish up in the top four and scoop up an ancient shard so maybe spend some of your passive energy on the ice golem tournament grinding up that and then the anniversary path event that's what i talked about how tomorrow we'll get a dedicated breakdown for you when we can finally see that live in game and see how the different paths are structured around the avatars and everything that's going to be up for grabs and then also the champion training is ending but this is mostly just kind of a normal champion training so nothing super noteworthy there and since it is the start of the week there is a couple things that you want to be keeping in mind and focusing on your quests for your clan are going to be resetting at the end of the day and then you also have only got like a day and a half to run your hydra keys if you're end game enough to hit the hydra and your arena has reset overnight like i'm typically in the classic arena tier five but it says gold four because it reset and bumped me down so I, make sure you grind up like before you do your hydra keys make sure you grind up to the right tier of classic arena and stuff like that so you don't have lower stats and then for the shop is there anything worth plugging in today no 101 mini mix packs for a while uh great deal the spring sale um whoa <laughs> lots of chicken and a feast okay so uh for a high spender that's early game this would be pretty solid i can at least let you know i haven't really seen one like this before so let me go ahead and plug in the starting tier for this so it's going to begin with 15 and then you're going to get nine of the rank threes so nine rank threes and then five rank fours okay and then two rank fives and that's going to be grading out as a 0.79 so um yeah not great it could be you know this should be like ten dollars or something but it is a lot of chicken for a high spender who is early game but it doesn't look to be super impressive uh soul stone i believe this is the better version of the price so 20 for 24 i can plug that in here it's a price of 20 and then we're getting 240k and then 24 of the mortals of boom and then yeah a 1.21 so for those of you that are in the market at a mid or high enough spending tier to be in the market of purchasing blessings this would be kind of the better version you're going to see them for in game but you are going to be getting that over the course of three days you're not going to get it immediately but it's not like a super gg amazing pack um faction accessories 
yeah they're going uh all in on the banner lords right now with everything kind of happening and then the privilege pack so okay let's go ahead and reset this and go with the 15 i can put this in for you quick here 2.5 and then we've got the 20 XP brews. I'm going to go in order. Uh, four times 50 is 200 of the multi battles. 200, not 2100. 2100 would be nice. Um, and then the rank five chicken right there. And then 10 of the full energy refills. Okay, a 0.93. So, yeah, unfortunately, if it's a 0.93 and it's time gated, you get this over the course of five days. Yeah, not good because what that means is you're going to end up missing out on some of that energy that you would have wanted to spend on something like the 3x boosted event for the speed gear in the dragon. So it's really unfortunate when they time gate stuff like this and it makes this deal not that great. And also before we end the video, I did want to update you on Deadwood Jedi's Hydra Creator Clash event. It was super successful and it was a lot of fun to follow this. And the finals ended up being Scratch versus Nubs. And a shout out to Nubs for taking down the Creator Clash. We had a Nubs defeating Odd One, Hell Hades, and Scratch. So three very good wins there. And uh, the Scratch had defeated MTG Jedi and YST to get to the finals before Nubs taking it down. So yeah, very, very good Hydra player there in Nubs. And no surprise that he ended up doing very well in this competition and taking it down. So massive shout out to him for winning and Deadwood for hosting a great event. And boom, that'll do it for today. It just kind of holds serve today. There isn't a whole lot of crazy stuff going on. Tomorrow, we're going to have a lot more stuff to talk about. There's going to be the full breakdown of the Bannerlord anniversary event. We can finally see the paths in game and do some planning. And then you'll have the 3x speed drop rate for the 27% drop rate on speed gear in the dragon. It'll be a good opportunity to earn some of them, uh, just like filler gear on your account if you want to spend your energy on the dragon tomorrow. And I will keep you in the loop. So remember to subscribe on your way out if you enjoy daily Rage Shadow Legends content. Appreciate all of you, and I'll see you soon in the next video. Peace.